Hey everyone, I'm Ricky, and today I'm going to be watching Elite Season 6, Episode 6. This one's called Tina, Last Time on Elite. Thankfully, they ended the Isadora believing the assaulter story about Yvonne because that was pissing me off, but they ended that and she was there for Yvonne. Yvonne and Ari hooked up with each other because they were both upset about people dying in their lives and they couldn't come to terms with it and they felt like that was like the best way to just share their pain or something. And then Patrick found out about it and then Yvonne told him that even though he doesn't want to feel this way about Patrick he thinks that Patrick is responsible for his dad's death and then he left Patrick and then Nico keeps blowing off Sonia for Ari and trying to help Ari and Ari's talking about how she likes Nico and even though they're like a horrible pairing honestly they both do things to each other that they just hate and I don't understand why they still like each other honestly. D-Doc wants to be friends with Javier again because of his brother because his brother's like you can you know what once you close that book and blah, blah, he was saying some stupid shit. But then that got Javier to confess to Isadora that Yvonne had nothing to do with it. But then I was like, okay, well, she has another recording of evidence that she could use against them. Before I get into this episode, like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, follow my Twitter, post whenever I upload, consider supporting me on Patreon, full uncut reaction will be up on there. And uh, without further ado, let's get into it. It is really trying to make us think that Ari's the one that ran Yvonne over. I really don't think it is. It showed that thing about her getting the car drunk. Oh yeah, by the way, last episode it showed Yvonne was actually alive and still, he was on a ventilator or something, but he was still alive, which was good. We like that. I know Ari was driving the car drunk because it showed that earlier. And also now she's about to set it on fire or something. I don't know. It's like too heavily, heavily implying that it was her. And I don't think it is. Ya tenemos fecha para el juicio. Así que voy a necesitar tu ayuda. With what? Sé que cuento contigo para que testifiques a mi favor. Oh. Pero hace falta. Que es evidente que que fue un accidente. Es evidente que que eres inocente. No sé si hace falta que testifique. Sí, hace falta. See, that's the thing now is that if she testifies in her father in her father's defense, she is not going to be probably get over the guilt that she feels about Samu's death, which she's probably still feeling right now. But then again, if she doesn't testify in her father's defense, then she's also going to feel guilty about her father going to jail or in prison for forever. Así que por favor, te lo pido. I'm assuming just all the pressure and everything. That's why she just ended up driving drunk that one night. Why she's setting her car on fire, I have no idea. Like, is that drugs that he's finding? Oh, wow. Did not know he was smoking crack, too. <laughs> of course, they just go right back on, like, their, their version of Grinder. Don't say yes to that. No, don't. No, 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 no. Okay, this is when you block that person on Grindr. As soon as they say P and P, done. No, 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 uh-uh. We don't like that. Hopefully Yvonne just passes out. Ooh. Se puede saber exactamente qué le estás dando a Hugo para que te dé plata? Me lo contás a mí o a Virginia. Le estoy pasando hormonas. O sea que no solo haces negocios con él, sino que encima vas y lo ayudas. Isadora, necesito la pasta. ¿Para qué? Quiero hacerme la faloplastia. ¿Y por qué no te lo hace tu padre, como todo lo demás? Porque no, porque él no lo hace. Te juro que hago un último trapis con Hugo y me busco otros clientes. Pero no te chives, por favor. Lies, lies and more lies. Vuela, antes de que me arrepienta. Also, like, there's so many rich friends that he has right now, like Isadora, for example. They could just give him money for it, honestly, and it would be, like, nothing to them. Probably, like, one night's profit at their club would be able to pay fully for that. I think she's just doing that just so that she can just get him the money and not help out Hugo. Hugo, I don't know how to pronounce it. Sorry. Gross. Gross. Raúl, este video, pero que no hemos vuelto. Que necesito ir poco a poco. Te lo he dicho. Me gustaría que decidiésemos entre los dos los videos que vayamos a subir. Okay. Y que por ahora sigas durmiendo en el sofá. 
Ahora mismo borro el vídeo. Tú pide que yo obedezco. Ok, so sleep on the couch, dickhead. Si nos hacemos un vídeo juntos con sus sales en la bañera, la marca lo peta. I can't believe she doesn't see that he's using her for views and money. She could honestly, if, listen, if she keeps that 10 million followers, she could keep going with that just all on her own. Lock his access to that account. A ver, ya hay fecha para el juicio de papá. He ido a verle y me ha dicho que, que os intenté convencer para que testifiquéis a su favor. Ya entiendo lo del regalito de los coches. ¿Qué cosa? <sighs> That would be crazy if it was actually Patrick. The car that everyone drives looks the same. He's a chauffeur, it looks like that. Now Mencia, Ari's, and Patrick's looks like that. They did that on purpose. Que dejó morir a tu novio. No hay ninguna prueba que diga eso. Te parece poco que no quisiera llamar a la ambulancia? O que le dijera a Patrick que escondiera el cuerpo? Yeah. O que nos dijera a nosotros que Samuel... Mencia, basta! <laughs> Mencia continues to be the voice of reason for this whole show. La marca nos paga un pastizal, pero un pastizal. Y no te preocupes porque con esta espuma no se nos verá nada. No es eso lo que me incomoda. Pasamos del vídeo. Sí, da igual, será por marcas. Mm. Bueno, va. Lo hacemos. Oh my god. Si tú me dices que nos viene bien, lo hacemos. She's giving him the power back and she doesn't even realize it. ¿Qué pasa? No sé, no me convence. No sé si es por el fondo, por la postura, porque no pruebas a, a darme la espalda un momento. Not even in just like getting to do the video, he's like controlling everything about the video and what she does. Joder, lo siento. Es que hace mucho tiempo que tú y yo no. ¿Sabes? Paramos hasta que se me baje. God. He makes me want to vomit. Oh my god, Yvonne, why crack of all things? Like cocaine you've done before, I think, but why that? What the hell? God. Ah, pero vas a salir? Sí, he quedado en Isadora House, que le han renovado la residencia a Bilal y vamos a tomar algo. Voy un ratito y luego nos vemos en nuestra primera cita. ¿Vale? Claro. Eh, pásatelo bien. Hmm. I don't know if he's gonna be able to hold in his anger. Hopefully he shows his true self again and she gets the fuck out of there. Lo que me pediste no es para colocarte. ¿Qué quieres? ¿Hacérselo a Hugo? ¿Estás mal de la cabeza o qué? No, no estoy mal de la cabeza. Oh. Y quieres hacer un favor al mundo. Sí. Pues conmigo no cuentes. Hacemos favor, por favor. What is she planning? Oh my gosh. You go, maybe now is the time to set your needs aside and if you think it's a bad idea, maybe... <laughs> <laughs> Don't go forward with it. Just wait until you're 18. <laughs> oh my god. He's. Oh my god, yeah. He's gonna be going exactly right where fucking Yvonne is. Or he's gonna find out that Yvonne is a part of this thing. He better get Yvonne out of there before Yvonne catches something. Oh my god, he better get him out of there, like, ASAP. Don't be all pissy, just get him out. Y está más atento y más cariñoso. Y me cuida, me respeta. No sé. <sighs> Créeme que está poniendo todo de su parte por cambiar. Zara, amor, la que has cambiado eres tú. Los maltratadores no cambian. Ya, no empecemos con esto otra vez. Tu padre no te ha regalado un coche. ¿Por qué no lo estrenamos? Pero si no tenemos carne. Pues en realidad el coche es automático. Digo yo que tan difícil oh, no God. <laughs> There is so much reckless driving this season, my lord. Patrick, hurry up and get in there. Hurry. Oh my god. I am definitely censoring a lot of this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Patrick, get him out of there. Don't just leave, please. I know, I, even if Yvonne gets all mad at him for it, I don't care. ¿Tenéis más fotos de Nico de pequeña? No, es la única foto que tenemos de Nico con menos de 12 años. No se reconocía y las tiramos. Con el tiempo aprendimos que lo más importante era escucharle, tener mucha paciencia, aceptarle y quererle tal y como es. Ahí están mis cocineros. Venga, a la mesa. Me has puesto la mano, mi Lleno. Qué bien, gracias, cariño. Ari's probably feeling uncomfortable or I guess sad that she doesn't have a family home life like Nico does. Or I guess I would assume that. Oh my god. Patrick. 
pases aquí. Vete, es imposible. ¿Por qué no te mueres de una puta vez? Tú sí tenías que estar muerto, no mi padre. Oh my god, stop saying stuff like that, Ivan. Jesus. I mean, I get he's all drugged up right now, and Patrick should know that. Oh my, oh my god. I, I don't even know anymore. No te engañas, es lo peor que uno puede hacer. Te pudre por dentro y no te deja vivir. I knew as soon as they... <laughs> the music playing, sorry, that made, me, that made me laugh. I knew as soon as I saw them in the bedroom together that they were gonna start hooking up. I still can't believe after everything between them that they actually still are attracted to each other and like each other, but hey, go for it. It's a very sex-filled episode. It wouldn't be elite without one episode that was just like horny with everybody. He is very good at that, I'll give him that. <laughs> I gotta censor that. He loves eating the punani. ¿Y nuestra cita? Lo siento, pero es que Mencía estaba mal y... Ah, Mencía. Ya sabía yo que esa zorra tenía la culpa. Te dije que te estaba manipulando. ¿Te lo dije o no te lo dije? Bueno, Raúl, relájate. Tus putas normas y esta puta cena de mierda. Y así me lo pagas. ¿Eh? Bueno, Raúl... Lo siento, no voy a dejar que te vayas otra vez. No, si no me voy yo. ¿Te vas tú? ¿Cómo que me voy yo? ¿Cómo que me voy yo? ¿Eh? Raúl... ¿Qué, ¿Qué me estabas diciendo? Díselo a todo el mundo. Yeah, good, good, good. Yes. Lo que estabas diciendo. Yes. Use that against him. Porque es que me muero de ganas. Good girl. Oh, Jesus Christ, that was smart of her. Oh. Also, are we forgetting that Bilal just like got domed in the head by a glass bottle two episodes ago? Are we just like forgetting that happens? Espera un momento aquí, señor. Qué detallazo, Bilal. Bueno, ya sabes. Ubuntu. Hacer el bien por los demás. Solo este hall ya es más grande que mi piso. Y seguro que tiene piscina. Tengo piscina. The, like, I really like the scenes with them and they're like really cute and I like Rocio a lot, but it's just like so separated from the, from the story. Like they don't really have much to do with any of the actual like main characters. So it's just like kind of random, but I like it though. It's like a nice buffer, I guess, but it's just like, I wish they had like more to do or there was like more involved, especially with Rocio. Hola Samuel. God, this should be Carla that's saying this speech right now. Sorry, but if anything, like it should, it should have been Carla. No había venido antes porque no era capaz de enfrentarme la pregunta más difícil de mi vida. She gonna tell him that she she's not gonna testify. Es un accidente. Yo me lancé a él buscándote a ti y tú tú ya no estás. Tengo que alejarme de él porque voy a hacerle daño. Yo nunca he tenido la valentía y la integridad que tienes tú, Samuel. Pero esto te lo debo. Te quiero mucho. God, it sucks that like this is the send off that we're getting Samu to. I mean, I guess like there's no other way they could really go about it, but. Lo dejaste morir. <laughs> Le negaste el auxilio para dejarlo morir. Yo solo espero que consigas encontrar la paz aquí dentro. Ojalá yo también pueda. Get fucked. Now all your kids don't want anything to do with you. Ari was the last one. And she's like, bad bitch. Que lo que le quieres hacer a Hugo es una salvajada. Una salvajada es lo que me hizo él a mí. Y me quiero asegurar que no se lo vuelva a hacer a ninguna otra mujer. What is she trying to do? Porque ponerme a su nivel sería agarrar a la verga y cortársela con un hacha. That would be great. No hice eso. I would love that. Soy mucho más inteligente y elijo castrarlo químicamente. Chemical castration, no way! Siempre quise justicia, pero nadie me la dio. Así que no tengo otra opción que la venganza. Y no es lo que le voy a hacer a Hugo. Es lo que ya le hice. Yeah. Ugh, I hate needles. Oh my god. That is amazing though. Oh, that's so good. That is so good. Prometemelo, por favor. Let me guess, it's gonna be a P in the front of the car that hits Ivan. Oh, we're back to the Ari thing. I was right, though! <laughs> okay, so many theories. This could mean so many things. 
There's multiple things that that could have mean right now. So either Ari and Patrick have a huge falling out. She takes his car and burns it because she's like, fuck you, I hate you. Number two, she could have been the one behind the wheel of one of the cars and hit Yvonne and then she just wants to destroy the evidence. Number three, Patrick could have been the one that was behind the wheel of the car and then Ari hid the evidence for him. Number four, probably something else. <laughs> but those are the three things that I could think of right now. I really, I, I, do, I do think it is just pointing to Ari and Patrick right now, and I don't think either of them did it. Although, I do think it would be interesting if Patrick did it. I don't think it is him. It's going to be just someone random. I mean, I'm, I'm sure. It's because... Anybody that they point to, it's always not them, usually. Or if they point to them at like an earlier part in the season, then it might be them. But if it's someone that points like this late into the season where it's episode six, it's like, okay, it's clearly not Ari. Right? Unless they're just like, yeah, no, it actually is Ari. She, like, we've been giving you hints this entire time, dumbass. Yeah, this episode was fine. It dealt a lot less with the annoyingness that has been happening this season and a lot more with stuff that has actually been interesting. For example, Sarah trying to get rid of Raul, the fallout between Patrick and Yvonne, and now the thing with Isadora and Nico. Uh, Didak now is involved because he knows what happened and Ugo, and that's, uh, I, I'm sorry. I don't care about morals or anything. I love that Isadora did that, and I hope she does more, honestly. He doesn't deserve just that. He deserves way more. Same with the other two, because the other two didn't get it bad enough yet. I need more, because they could just cover up those tattoos, right? And we got a send off to Samu and it like, I was saying last season that we should have gotten a short story where Carla comes back, at least for that, and have Samu's funeral and we have all the original characters come back. I thought that would have been really nice. I don't even think they did short stories for this season, probably because nobody really started watching them after the last one. Once like Nadia and Carla were gone, nobody really watched the short stories besides like Petrix. That's the only one that people were really interested in, but only because he's hot. Right? So that's Manny Rios, you know, everyone wants to watch him because he has a pretty face. But in any case, yeah, let me know what you thought about this episode in the comments and like this video, subscribe if you haven't already. Consider uh, supporting me on Patreon. I'm gonna have the full uncut reaction to this episode on there. Follow my Twitter because I post whenever I upload and I will see you on episode seven.